हरे कृष्णा आप सभी लोगों का बहुत बहुत स्वागत है आज के सत्र में और आज की भागवतम जो है उसमें हम लोग आज ईशोपनिषद ही पढ़ेंगे मोस्टली uh, इस वीक में शायद यही कंटिन्यू रहेगा बिकॉज स्वामी महाराज की तबियत थोड़ी अभी भी रिक्यूपरेट uh, कर रहे हैं ही इज गेटिंग बेटर हिज वॉइस इज ऑल्सो गेटिंग बेटर नाउ सो इट्स गुड साइन सो वी विल ऑल प्रे फॉर हिम एंड विथ प्रेयर्स वी विल स्टार्ट टू डेज लेक्चर ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय सो इफ यू ऑल रिमेम्बर आई हैड टेकन अ क्लास ऑन ईशो पिशद वर्स नंबर वन ठीक है बट सिंस इट वॉज अ वन ऑफ सेशन एट दैट टाइम बट सिंस आई एम गोइंग टू टेक आई थिंक फोर सेशन दिस वीक सो Uh, we will cover most of the part of Ishop Ishop Nishad in the class. Okay, at least some concepts we will grasp. So let us start with uh, the invocation of this uh, Ishop Nishad. Okay, Ishop Nishad is the first Upanishad written by uh, Veda Vyasi. So in this Upanishad, we are going to learn about a lot of things. Okay, just be with me on this, and we will learn a lot. Okay. Now the invocation of this Ishopanishad is Om Purna Mada Purna Midam Purna Purna Mudachate Purna Se Purna Mada Ya Purna Meva Vishishte. Okay, so how do we understand this verse? Okay, word by word, just okay. Om Purna Mada Purna Midam. That Om means salutation to the absolute personality of God. Krishna says, Pranama Sarva Vedeshu. I am the Pranama. Pranama means Om. Okay? I am that Omkar in all the Vedas. In wherever you see all the mantras, you will find it starts with Om. There is some Om. This Om is present at the beginning of all the mantras. Okay? Sabhi mantra ke aage aapko Om dikhega. Abhi jo Om hai, ye Krishna ke liye hai. Salutation to Lord Krishna first. Okay? So Om, that is the salutation to Lord Krishna, who is Purna Madha, who is Purna Madha, Purna Madha, and this is also Purna Madha, this is also this material world, the emanation of the Lord. Purna Madha Purna Madha, this is the Purna Madha, the material world is Purna Madha, complete whole, where did it come from? Purna Madha, that Purna Madha, that Supreme Personality of God, which is the name of Shri Krishna, and that is also the Purna Madha, and that is also the Purna Madha, and that is also the Purna Madha. पूर्णात पूर्णम उदरचते निकल के आए हैं उससे ठीक है दिस मटेरियल मैनिफेस्टेशन इज अ कंप्लीट होल दिस लाइक दिस यूनिवर्स यू सी दिस मटेरियल दिस मटेरियल यूनिवर्स इज द मैनिफेस्टेशन ऑफ दैट दैट सुप्रीम पर्सनालिटी हिमसेल्फ सो दिस यूनिवर्स इज कैपेबल ऑफ सस्टेनिंग लाइफ इट इज कंप्लीट इन इटसेल्फ ठीक है सो दैट इज कमिंग फ्रॉम लॉर्ड कृष्ण पूर्ण ठीक है पूर्णस्य पूर्णम आधाय एंड इफ तो एक मैथमेटिकल कैलकुलेशन सोच के देखिए अगर एक पूर्ण में से पूर्ण को हम घटा देंगे पूर्ण को निकाल देंगे बिकॉज लॉर्ड हैज एमिनेटेड दिस मटेरियल करेक्ट सो द कैलकुलेशन ऑफ मटेरियल मैथ्स विल बी पूर्ण मींस लेट्स टेक पूर्ण एज वन एंड जीरो एज नथिंग ठीक है सो पूर्ण में से अगर पूर्ण को घटा दें तो क्या बचेगा ऑब्वियसली वन माइनस वन इजल टू जीरो अकॉर्डिंग टू मटीरियल मैथमेटिक्स करेक्ट तो पूर्ण से पूर्ण मदाया इफ यू टेक Having taken away Purnam Adha, Purnam Adha, having taken away one Purn from the Purnam Adha, Purnam Adha, so what will happen? So mathematical calculation will say zero, but here the spiritual calculation will say no, Purnam Adha, Purnam Adha, Purnam Adha, Vishishyate. What is left is still the whole, it's still the complete whole. So Lord Krishna can expand himself into thousands of, you know, expansions. And he can emanate thousands and thousands of you know material universes, but still his potency does not decrease. Correct. So this is the correct interpretation of this verse, this invocation verse. Now we will read the translation written by Shri Prabhupada. The personality of Godhead is the perfect and complete Purnamidam. Because he is completely perfect, all emanation from him, such as this phenomenal world. Are perfectly equipped as complete wholes. मैंने बताया ना इस पूरी universe, this whole universe, ठीक है, is complete in itself in the sense that it can sustain, hold and maintain the life, ठीक है, in the universe, correct? 
So it is complete in itself. And this complete is coming from that complete, that supreme personality. Okay. Wherever, sorry, whatever is produced of the complete whole is also complete in itself. Because he is the complete whole, even though so many complete universe, so many complete units emanate from him, he remains the complete balance. One minus one is equal to zero. Ho gaya. That abhi to Krishna ne itne saare universe emanate kar di. Ab Krishna thak gaye hain, you know, tired ho chuke hain, chakti hi ho chuke hain. Aisa nahi hai. Krishna is the source of all the energy, and still he has energy even after emanating thousands and thousands of universes, even after emanating, uh, expanding into thousands and thousands of sarovas. Okay. So Amsha. Then the Bhagwan is so Amsha. Jitne bhi aise Bhagwan expand karte na Balram mein, fir Narayan form mein. Still, his potential does not decrease. Yeah. The example given by Lord Brahma in Brahma Samhita is Deepa Chire Vidashantaram Dupetya. Just like from one candle, you can light thousands of candles. Okay. Like that, one emanation of, you know, one existence of Krishna can expand into thousands of Krishnas, thousands of equal potency Krishna, thousands of candles. But still, the potency of the first candle, uh, first candle, will not decrease. It will have the same luminous capacity. In the same way, uh, like the candles, Krishna remains the complete whole, even though emanating thousands of thousands of universes and many millions of expansions from him, he still remains that same complete whole. Okay? So this we have to understand about spiritual subject matters. Spiritual subject matters, may one minus one is equal to is equal to zero. Nahi, one. Okay. So, in the same spirit, just like when we offer prasadam, when we offer bhoga okay, to Krishna, Krishna accepts the bhog. And how does he accept the bhog? Krishna can act from his one sense. He can do all the work of all the senses. Okay. It's like from our ears, we can listen. Okay. From our eyes, we can see. But Krishna can use the senses vice versa. He can listen from the eyes and he can hear uh, hear from the eyes and he can also see from his ears. So he can use uh, vice versa. His one sense is equal to having potency of all the senses. He can walk by just seeing he can walk. Now how is it? It is mystic potency of Krishna. So similarly, when Krishna accepts your offering as bhoga, he just has to see. He doesn't have to eat even actually. It's like we eat. We eat prasadam and then suppose something you give me, I will eat and it will be finished. Correct. But in the sense of spiritual, you know, in the sense of spirituality, especially when it is connected to Krishna, this is not how it happens. Krishna may eat your offering and still can have, can give you back the offering. That is the potency of Krishna. So whatever you make, Krishna accepts, accepts whatever you make for Krishna with love and devotion. If love and devotion is there, Krishna will accept. You may make thousands and thousands of pakmans. But if love and devotion is not there, Krishna may not choose to accept it. But if something is made with a lot of, lot of, lot of, lot of love and devotion, then Krishna loves to have that kind of offering. So, always, always try to feel the emotion while you are cooking for Lord. When you are offering to Lord, it should not be just a physical activity. It has to be coming from the heart because the best prayers are manifested not by language but from heart. Always understand this. Best of the best prayers are not by the language. It's not in the Sanskrit we can sing nicest of the prayers. It's not the language. Or it is not that in Roman, Latin or something, you know, some English we can say the best prayers. Asa nahi hai. The best prayers, the best language, in fact, is the language of heart. And this is why the best prayers come from the heart. So we must pray. We must feel the gratitude towards Krishna all the time as much as possible. At least while we are offering to Krishna, we should have that love for Krishna. Krishna, please accept my offering. This is my humble offering for you. This is what my capacity is. I could do this for you. And Krishna will accept it because you have offered it with love and devotion. Okay? So once Krishna accepts that, he has the potential to give it back to you also. 
Okay, so nobody is lost in that. Okay, but only because we have materialistic idea of you know in this material world what happens one minus one is equal to zero. Technically, it is not zero, but it looks like it is zero because matter changes its form, energy changes its form, never decreases. There is no nullifying of the name energy. Okay, there is no nullifying of the nature. Just like there is a plus water here. You know, uh, also, I mean, plastic is not a very good example for this. Say, there is a paper cup. Okay, and this paper cup, this paper cup was once, uh, once a tree, a living tree somewhere in the in the jungles, but then it was cut down, and then it was transformed into a paper cup, into a paper first, and then paper cup. Now it's a paper cup, but then I'll use this paper cup, throw it in the trash can, then it will be recycled into something else. You know, maybe uh, it will just go back into nature in an organic matter, or it can also be recycled into some kind of, you know, uh, hard boards or something like that, right? So this is how it, it recycles. Never is one minus one is good, never is zero, actually. But yeah, in this material world, you know, math mathematical material calculations is equal to like zero, right? A apple man aapko diya. So, you material calculation. But in the sense of spiritual calculations, there is no loss. Why? Because spirituality, when we talk about spirituality, we talk about the energy in the terms of energy, in the terms of you know, complete whole, the soul, okay, Brahma. And we talk about Brahma, there is nothing less or you know, minus or plus or something as an he. So, can. so, therefore, we have to understand material calculations cannot be applied on spiritual calculations. So, therefore, some people will say, Ki, aise, kaise, Krishna is expand, kar hai, kitna, kitna sara hai, manage kar hai, Krishna is all youthful, all energetic, you know, having that young, raw energy of a child like that. Okay? And, and not even compared to a child, by the way, okay? Wo to bahut zada. Krishna's quantity is immeasurable, actually. See, like this, we have to understand that Krishna expands, emanates, and yet remains a youthful young boy. You know, the same supreme personality of God in complete, you know, in completeness, in wholeness. So again, this is the understanding of this verse. Now, we may also look at the first verse we completed last time. We can have a small recap of that. And what was that? Let us sing this. Isha vasyam idam sarvam. Yat kinchit jagat tam jagat tena tektena bunjita magrida trusses with dhanam. So here Krishna is saying what? Uh, here, uh, you know, what, what is the instruction of Vigyasu here? Everything emanates, sorry, everything animated or inanimated uh, that is within the universe is controlled and owned by the Lord, by the Lord Krishna. Ishwara Parama Krishna. And here kya bula jara hai? Ish. Isha Vasyam Idam Sarvam Us Ish ka hai Us Jagadish ka hai Isha Vasyam Idam Sarvam Yet Kinchit Jagatyam Jagat Jo bhi hai Dunya mein What's And certainly Whatever is there In this material world That all So again Tena Tek Tena Bhunjita Whatever is required for you Take it away Tena Tek Tena Bhunjita Magrida Kasa Swidhanam Kisi Or Kadhan Mat Grahan Karo Usse Chhod Do Rest of it Set it aside For other person So one should therefore accept only those things necessary for him which are set aside as his quota and one should not accept other things knowing well to whom they belong. Okay, just like everybody breathes and everybody breathes, breathing quota is the same. Correct? I can't breathe more than you. Is it possible I can breathe more than you? I can hold the breathing. I can't hold the breathing. You know, I'm, whatever I'm destined to breathe, oxygen mera breathing ka destined hai, utna hi le sakta hun. My breathings are destined. So how much I'm going to breathe is destined. Nobody can change that. I can't I can do more breathing or less breathing. Hai. Right. So we must know this that we whatever quota is set aside for us in this lifetime, according to the law of karma, our destiny is formed. And we are destined to live to certain level of comforts, to certain level of life form to certain level of uh, you know uh, lifetime so all these things are destined but not destiny is not random people think sometimes destiny is written somewhere and it's random no it's not random 
Nobody is writing your destiny. You are writing your destiny, but you have to understand in what sense. When I say, or when people say, there is a difference. Sometimes some motivational speakers will say, you are writing your own destiny. And what they mean is basically, you don't care about anyone. You are the one who is, you know, who is the, uh, you know, maintainer, sustainer, and then creator and everything. No, 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 that's not true. There is a lot of karma. It records your activity. Okay? And gives you the reaction according to that, correct? So whatever karma you do, in this life form, that reaction you will get and that forms your destiny. Residual karma of this life form and the life forms earlier, it creates a destiny for you for the next lifetime. Okay, Where you have to suffer and enjoy whatever deeds you have done here. And there in that uh, life form, if you are a human being, then you will create another set of karmas. Okay? Some karma are protection. Protection. कर्मा होते हैं कुछ अप्रत्यक्ष कर्मा होता है ठीक है अप्रत्यक्ष मतलब प्रत्यक्ष क्या हो गया अगर मान लो किसी को आपने तंग किया तो एक छावड़ लगाया खींच के तो अपने आप ही प्रत्यक्ष मिल जाएगा उस कर्मा का उसका रिएक्शन जो है ठीक है लेकिन अगर मान लीजिए कुछ चीजें ऐसी होती हैं कुछ चीजें ऐसी होती है टाइम जिसका वो अप्रत्यक्ष रूप में चले जाता है विच कम्स वेरी वेरी लेट एंड यू नॉट इवन कनेक्ट द टू डॉट्स कह रहे ये क्या हुआ मेरे साथ ऐसा कैसा हो गया मैं तो कुछ भी नहीं किया था हाँ वो आया है बट लेट आया हूँ कहाँ का कहाँ आया है वो आप कनेक्ट नहीं कर पा रहे हो Sometimes some things are from the last life. और वो last life की होते से हमको तो याद भी नहीं है last life. तो कहाँ से connect कर पाएंगे, right? तो ये चीज़ हो जाती है. इसलिए हमें disconnected reality लगती है. हमको लगता है ऐसा कुछ randomly चल रहा है दुनिया में. कुछ भी random. Everything is a well calculation going on like like this. There is nothing called random. ठीक है. Everything is well maintained by the Lord. By the law of the Lord. ठीक है. The law of karma is there to govern everything. So destiny is not random. Understand this. Destiny is created by your own karma. So in that sense, yes, you are the creator of your own destiny. Just as the karma karo ke vaise vaise destiny banegi, correct right, na? So you are the you are the one who is making your destiny. But know this that in this lifetime, certain things are fixed. You can't change them. This means your lifetime is fixed. Your how much money you will have, you know, how much difficulties you have to go through, sufferings you have to go through, happinesses you have to go through. All those things are fixed. आप उनको change नहीं कर सकते. उनको चेंज नहीं हो सकता है वो बिल्कुल भी चेंज नेवर एवर ठीक है आप कितना भी मेहनत कर लो सर्टेन थिंग्स कैन बी हियर दैट बट देन दैट विल नॉट कंपेंसेट दीस थिंग्स ठीक है बाय बाय डेवलपिंग योर मेडिकल फैसिलिटीज यू कांट इलोंगेट योर लाइफ दैट्स नॉट पॉसिबल इफ इट इज नॉट इन योर डेस्टिनी इट इज इन योर डेस्टिनी देन यस बट सिंस डेस्टिनी लाइज इन द बियॉन्ड फ्यूचर व्हिच इज अनसीन बाय द आईज यू नेवर नो Okay, therefore, people have this habit of doing hard work and all those things to change their destiny. Some could see that okay, I could change my destiny, and they feel that they have changed their destiny. And that's a false notion. And then there are many people who do the hard work and all those things and still can't change their destiny. They succumb to it. Okay, so you fight it, you succumb to it, you know, or surrender to it. Whatever you do, it's it's your wish. Correct. But a devotee does not at all is considerate about the destiny. He does not give any thought to it. For a devotee, destiny does not matter. Pure devotees in their prayers, they always say this. They say, either I live in hell or heaven or on earth. It does not matter as long as I am serving you, my Lord. Okay? So, when we are serving God's service, कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता हेवन में रहो स्वर्ग में रहो स्वर्ग में आनंद लो वहां सेवा करो जैसे देव ऋषि नारद हैं तो यू नो दे आर ही इज ऑफ दैट स्पेस एंड ही इज स्टिल सर्विंग कृष्णा ठीक है देन देयर आर पीपल हु लिव इन हेल एट लीस्ट एट लीस्ट एक पर्सन को तो हम जानते हैं यमराज यू नो हु इज नॉट लिविंग इन हेल इन द सेंस ऑफ लिविंग इन हेल बट या ही इज द मेंटेनर ऑफ द हेलिश मैंस करेक्ट सो ऑब्वियसली ही हैज टू यू नो हिज होम इज नियर बाय देयर करेक्ट But then he is a pure devotee of Krishna, so you know he is serving Krishna in his capacity. So everybody is serving. So he is living in heaven, he is living in heaven. What does it matter? You know, as long as they are serving, they are happy. So so long we serve, uh, so long you know we are serving Krishna for devotees. It does not matter where they are, what their destiny is, whatever their destiny is, they will transform that into service for Krishna. Okay. So this is why we are doing more of this. But then understanding this phenomena. we have to understand that whatever we can have with our karma we must be santushta with that 
do not over endeavor into something to a degree that it becomes unbearable for you. Okay, do not go to that zone at all. Okay, in the, even in Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says, so I have got some verse for you. Okay, give me a second. Yeah. In 4.22, Krishna says this. Yadricha lava santushto dvanda tito vim, vimatrasa. Sorry, vimat. Yeah, vimat sara. Sama sadhau asadhau cha. Kritva pina nibadhate. <clears throat> he was satisfied with the gains which comes on its own accord. Gains, it comes on its own accord. Come on, by your prakriti, you are, you are, you know, you are talented into something. Okay? Either you are a Brahmana or a Shatiya or a Vaishya or a Shudra. Identify that, work in that, channel, channelize your energy into that. You will get some earth. You will get some benefit out of it. Okay? Apply that artha in service of Krishna. Whatever money you earn, whatever earth, earth matter, just not money, everything what you earn out of that, out of that profession, whatever you earn, fame, name, fame, money, you know, Perks, everything. You surrender it to Krishna. You use it in service of Krishna. And then what happens? Then it is transformed into Krishna consciousness. Right? So, first of all, to do that, you have to be satisfied with that. Okay? So, you have to be satisfied with that gain which comes according to its own accord, according to your nature. You know, you are, a, suppose somebody is a laborer. You know, he is born with the nature, guna karma of a laborer. He can't suddenly change by training into a Businessman. He may call himself a businessman. He can wear a suit to tie and open a you know big institute or something, business or something. That may work very average. It will not even work, you know, even on average. It will go into losses soon. Okay, because he is not of that capacity. And this is why we see a lot of entrepreneurs nowadays, so many. Some succeed, some do not. Right? So you have to first see what is your guna karma, then act into that. Some people, they should be well off when doing labor activity. That's all for them. So they should not try to go into the zone of, uh, you know, either fighting a war or uh, doing some business or doing some intellectual work, research work. They can't do that. If they do that, they will not be able to, what do you say? Excel to ek baat hoti hai, average bhi nahi kutai. Take care into that. But then, uh, somebody who is a researcher should not go into business or should not do a liberal work. Should, he should do his research, correct? By doing that, he will attain whatever is necessary for him. So, this is by its own account which comes to you. Who is free from duality? So, free from duality is important. What is duality? Duality is everything in this world is a duality. It has two, two faces of the coin, correct? There is a good in the world, then there is a bad in the world. There is a right in the world, there is a left in the world. Okay. There is a, you know, there is a, uh, you know, everything is duality. There is a color to everything. Correct. So, then the thing is, we should come out of this duality of, you know, duality, black, white, yes, uh, again. you have to come out of this. And then, we should not be envious of anyone, anyone in this world. Should not be envious of. Okay, why? And how can you not be envy with anyone? Because you do not compare. This is why you do not become envy. Why do you not compare? Because you are satisfied. You see, the first principle applies all. If you are satisfied, you are automatically getting free from duality to a certain degree. And then, you are also not envious. Not enmity. If you want to, tell you have a problem with jealousy. How do you solve it? How do you solve it? How do you solve it? Simple. Do not compare. How do you not compare? Why do you compare? Why? Because you are not satisfied. You are not satisfied. Because contentment is important. So, then who is steady in both success and failure? So failure or success, man, steady hona hai. Steady samatva bhao. Kaise aya bhaega? Because you are out of the duality. Tab aapko equanimity mein apne mind ko achuna hai. Success mein hai, failure mein hai, it does not matter. Why will not matter? Because the purpose of the doing activity is not success or failure. It is rather something else. It can come from two ideas. One is idea of duty. That is my duty. I must do this. Or it could come from the service of Krishna. Point of view of service of Krishna. And this is my service to Krishna. I fail or succeed. It does not matter. And one of the famous examples which I give always in my lectures is of the great devotee who died for Lord Ramchandra in execution of his service. And his name is Jatayu. 
that great bird he did not even hesitate kuch bhi hesitation unko nahi feel hua ki chalo abhi you know main ram ke liye ladunga lekin main to boodha ho gaya hu sita maiya ko le jaane do jaane do unko kya karunga to boodha main kaise kar paunga he was not complaining about his inability ki main to nahi kar paunga main to nahi mujhse nahi hoga main to mar jaunga he is not called to uh, talking all those things he immediately jumped into saving uh, mother sita considering it his service is this is my service to lord ramchandra knowing well that he could die you know so he did that and he died the ramchandra said to lakshman that i am feeling in grief for this creation more than i felt for my own father lord ramchandra accepted his service so even if we failed in said in rescuing mother sita still he did his service and lord ramchandra accepted it he did not say ki kya tum itna bada jatayu bante ho itna bada bird bante ho kya tum ek bar you know bacha bhi nahi paaya jao i do not you know go away as i know lord ramchandra accepted his service so this is jatayu who, who was a failure like in, in the service and then at the end obviously he could not do that he could not save mother sita but still He failed to see uh, saving Mother Sita, but still he did his devotional service, and Lord Ramachandra accepted it, and he got Ayodhya was, you know, he got liberated immediately. And you see another personality, Lord Hanuman. Whatever activity he does for Lord Ramachandra, he is always successful. He never failed in his life, even for once. He is always successful, personified. whenever it comes to serving lord ramchandra as a servant he is success personified he never fails but neither is lord ram uh, lord hanuman is attached to his success neither jatayu was attached to his failure they all they both did service to lord ramchandra and that is important so therefore for devotee it does not matter so therefore devotees are on equanimity Pure devotees are always on equanimity. They do not, and they are on samatva bhav, steady bhav. Okay, so this is why a devotee is steady in both success and failure. Okay, life may have a success or failure, but they are not. Do not worry for that. You do your duty. You do your service to Krishna. That's all. That is all what matters in life. If you have been lazy into that, you should grieve. You should rather lament. You should. You should be shame. You know, having shame in in your heart. मैं नहीं कर पाया भगवान के लिए मैंने सिंसियरली ही मैंने एंडेवर ही नहीं डाला दैट इज अनदर थिंग दैट इज दैट इज अ सीरियस थिंग दैट इज व्हाट यू शुड एड्रेस बट व्हेन इट कम्स टू फेलियर ऑफ सक्सेस दैट यू शुड नॉट बी फीलिंग बैड अबाउट और राइदर फीलिंग वेरी इरिटेटेड अबाउट यस सक्सेस पा लिया मैंने यस आई डिड इट ठीक है ऐसा नहीं फील करना तो सच अ पर्सन इज नेवर एंटेंगल्ड Although performing all the actions, although performing all the actions, ये बंदा कभी entangled ही नहीं होता. Now, if you see this successes successor verse in in Ishok Nishad of this verse, because ये मैंने verse already details में मैंने आपको समझाया था next last class में. अगर आपको ध्यान अगर आपको सुनना है तो last class आप सुन सकते हैं. इसका विश्लेषण आपको समझ जाएगा. The next successor verse of this is second verse of Ishok Nishad. ठीक है वो क्या कहते हैं इसमें? Guruvan एवेह कर्माणि जीजीवे शतम समहा एवं त्वयि नान्येतोस्ति न कर्म लिप्यते नरः न कर्म लिप्यते नरे ठीक है वन मे एस्पायर टू लिव फॉर हंड्रेड्स ऑफ इयर्स इफ ही कंटीन्यूअसली goes on working in that way. in what way isha was the rhythm sarva that everything belongs to krishna yet in jagat kaam laga everywhere tena tak tena bhunjita whatever is for me what is allotted for me quota for me i should be satisfied in that and rest i do not care for it's for other people theek hai like this so then in this mindset in this satvik mindset if you are living your life तो ये कह रहे हैं यहां पर कि वन में एस्पायर टू लिव फॉर हंड्रेड्स ऑफ इयर्स सौ साल सौ सौ सालों तक जियो तो इफ ही कंटिन्यूज वर्किंग इन दैट फैशन इन दिस सात्विक माइंडसेट देन व्हाट हैपेंस फॉर दैट सॉर्ट ऑफ वर्क विल नॉट बाइंड हिम इन द लॉ ऑफ कर्मा यू विल कम आउट ऑफ लॉ ऑफ कर्मा द लॉ ऑफ कर्मा विल नॉट अप्लाई ऑन 
There is no alternative to this way for man. इसके अलावा कोई ऑल्टरनेटिव नहीं है एक आदमी के पास कोई सोच सकता है कि चलो कुछ और ऑल्टरनेटिव भी होगा कर्मा कर्मा से बाहर निकलने का लॉफ कर्मा से बाहर निकलने का कोई और तरीका नहीं है दिस इज द ओनली वे बाय ओनली सर्विंग लॉर्ड कृष्णा दैट इज बाय डूइंग अ कर्मा यू कैन कम आउट ऑफ द लॉ ऑफ कर्मा डूइंग एन एक्टिविटी व्हिच विल गिव यू नो रिजल्ट व्हाई बिकॉज़ यू आर नेवर अटैच्ड टू सक्सेस और फेलियर सो व्हाई विल व्हाई द हेल विल यू गेट द रिजल्ट आउट ऑफ इट नो You not get the reaction out of it. Just like if somebody does not care about success or failure, me exam I have given, I pass or fail, I am not affected. So exam the result will not be any good, not be any good because I am not affected. That's it. That's it. Just my duty that I am giving. So whatever result I am, I will just listen. Okay, this result is very good. Okay, nice. That's all. A small example for understanding. Meaning that for this material, there are many examples. But it's okay. 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 So when a service is done to Krishna, we do not be attached to you know success or failure in that kind of service. When there is no ego involved in that service, because हमारा नहीं तो ego involved हो जाना service कि मेरी service है मैं करूँगा मैं दुनिया को दिखा दूँगा मैं कर सकता हूँ कर सकता हूँ ये सब चीज़ अगर आपने involve कर दी तो फिर karma लग जाएगा वहाँ पे फिर से to whatever degree you are not surrendered to Krishna to whatever degree you still want to enjoy this material world to that you will incur suffering you will आपके ego को चोट लगेगी आपको suffering होगी आप यू नो दुख झेलोगे सुख झेलोगे बट अगर आप इन सब चीजों से डिटैच हो जाओ और यू जस्ट योर योर फोकस शुड बी सर्विंग योर स्पिरिचुअल मास्टर आई ऑलवेज से सर्विंग कृष्णा प्लीज ट्रांसलेट इनटू सर्विंग स्पिरिचुअल मास्टर बिकॉज ओनली बाय सर्विंग योर गुरु महाराज यू आर एक्चुअली सर्विंग कृष्णा बिकॉज देर इज नो अदर वे यू कैन नॉट मैनुफेक्चर अवे टू सर्व कृष्णा ओनली बाय इंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ गुरु महाराज यू सर्व कृष्णा अदरवाइज वट इज द वे टू सर्व कृष्णा हाउ विल यू सर्व कृष्णा Only by serving the words of your spiritual master, that is the best form of serving Lord Krishna. Could be many other forms also, correct? But the best form could be serving spiritual master, because only by genuine inquiry from spiritual master one get enlightened into science of Krishna consciousness. Now it is our duty to serve our spiritual master once we have gained the science. Okay? Then how do you serve? Whatever instructions of spiritual master is. Whatever the vision of spiritual master is, that you should try to fulfill in your lifetime. Just like our Guru Maharaj, you know, Swami Shri Prabhupada had this vision of preaching this message of Bhagavad Gita of Bhagavatam to all the world, to to, to the whole world, and we are thus engaged into that activity to fulfill the vision, the mission of my spiritual master, to our spiritual master. We are doing this. So similarly, you all should also. Try to hundred percent give your life into serving your spiritual master. That is here in this case would be Bhakti Nishtha Swami Maharaj. You should give your life for you know your life sole purpose should to serve my spiritual master. That is my you know I say you know following spirituality and all that. That is how you follow spirituality. That is how you serve Krishna in the best way possible. Again, so this is what we should do. And if you do activities like this. Then you will not be bound in any law of karma. You are getting freedom from law of karma. Freedom from law of karma results into freedom of cycle of birth and death, and that is the foundation of liberation. So then there is no other alternative. It is said. now what is karma? What is akarma? And what is the karma? We have to understand this at first, because otherwise we all might do some activities thinking. That we are doing, uh, we are doing, uh, you know, Krishna service. But it could be karma. You know, you can you can incur reaction out of it. It could become a karma, which is Krishna conscious work is called a karma. Okay, when you are not getting any reaction back. Okay, any reaction back, a karma. करते हुए भी आप नहीं करते के बराबर. You know, just like if something is displaced from here and comes back and here comes back here, the same point. So work done is equal to zero according to science, correct? <laughs> but the thing is, the work is still done, na? Pura bhungam bhi to aaya ho. But since displacement is equal to zero, work done is equal to zero. In the same way, if you are unattached, you do all the activities, come back, and serve Krishna, stand humbly in front of Krishna, your spiritual master. Then the resultant karma is equal to zero. But it should be completely, completely into the your. You should be fixed here. You can't be here. Otherwise, work is done now. 
okay, you will get a karma. So you have to be here. Always understand this. If your consciousness is not fixed at the lotus feet of your spiritual master and the lotus feet of Lord Krishna, then there is no destination for you. No spiritual destination. So always try to do that. Okay. Mahabra Krishna, ninth, uh, text number 9, third chapter, mein batate hai. Yagnat, Yagnarthart karma nyatra loko yam karma bandhanaha kalatham karma kaunteya mukta sangha samachara. If you see Abhiju's second verse, mein padha, Isho it is exactly the same. Okay? Work done as a sacrifice for Krishna has to be performed. Sacrifice for Vishnu has to be performed. Yagnarthart karma. Bhagwanga uh, Bhagwanga naam yagya purush ki hai. So yagnartha, us yagya purush ke liye karm karo. Vishnu ke liye karm karo. Lord Vishnu ke liye. Okay. Otherwise work causes bondage in this world. Otherwise the work is going for you to cause bondage. So one thing is clear. A karma means Krishna conscious activity. Doing sacrifice for Lord Vishnu. And it incurs no result. Will be free from law of karma. Otherwise, both karma and vikarma both will give you some reaction. Now, what is vikarma? Vikarma, sorry, let's go first to karma. What is karma? Karma is anything which you do in accordance to the, you know, to your karma kandya, you know, uh, karma kandya behavior of the religion. Let's say religion, mein, religious activities, which you follow, karte ho, puja baat karte ho, agar apna dharm karm karte ho, jo bhi karte ho, you will get a resultant reaction for this because you are still fal kami. Is my fal kami hote ho? Mujhe ye fal chahiye. Isliye aap jitne bhi vrat karthaye dekhiye, jis mein agar agar aapko is fal ki you know ichcha hai, iski is fal ki ichcha hai, to aap ye vrat kariye. Us fal ki ichcha hai, to wo bara vrat kariye. Agar wo vrat karthaye aayenge, jo ki karm kandya part hai hamare isko scripture ka. Aur ye karm kandya part bhai toh har jagah hota hai. Even Krishnaanti, Islam, sab jagah milta hai aapko. Theek hai? Isi tarah se upasana kand bhi ek section hota hai bhai toh ka, jis mein pure teachings how you know Lord is the supreme personality, how we should be serving him, how we should be serving him and going back to his abode. You know, in Christianity they will call going back to kingdom of God, you know, Islam may be kuch hoga, hysterica, correct? So like this, like this. So the point is, and these sections of scriptures are always there. Now, where do you focus is your is it's your free will. What do you want? Like, do you want fruitive activity? So you do karma. karma okay? अच्छा करोगे अच्छा मिलेगा बुरा करोगे बुरा मिलेगा द कर्मा गोस इनटू आतंकवादी वर्क ठीक है जो कि जो कि ऐसा वर्क होता है जो इवन कंडेम इट इज कंडेम्ड इन द स्क्रिप्चर्स आल्सो कि ये तो बिल्कुल ही नहीं करना चाहिए और वो आप कर रहे हो इट इट गोस इनटू दैट डायरेक्शन द कर्म की वजह से क्या होता है यू हैव टू सफर अ लॉट इन द सेल्फ इन द इन द हेल्स ठीक है हेल्स प्लांट्स में आपको सफर करना पड़ता है नर्क नर्क में नर्क का दर्शन मिल जाता है विकर्म करने से कर्म करने से पृथ्वी में सफर करोगे एंजॉय करोगे या हेवनली किंगडम जाओगे या थोड़ा और नीचे जा सकते हो नीचे वाले किंगडम में बट अगर विकर्म करोगे तो पक्के से नरक जाओगे उधर जाके 28 प्लांट हैं 28 प्लांट्स हैं यहां पे अलग-अलग तरह की सजाएं निर्धारित हैं अलग-अलग तरह के कर्मों के लिए जो कि वर्जित हैं जैसे कि फॉर एग्जांपल मान लीजिए किसी को यू नो स्त्री संग करना बड़ा पसंद है अवैध ऑब्वियसली ठीक है तो उसके लिए एक स्पेशल हेल है वहां जाता है कोई कोई ऐसा पर्सन है जो नॉन वेजिटेरियन नहीं करता उसके लिए कुंभी पाक नरक है वहां पर वो जाता है कुंभी पाक में यू नो कुंभी मींस कढ़ाई कुंभी और पाक मींस जहां पकाया जाता है तो कढ़ाई में जाकर तलते हैं बस ठीक है तो उसका यू नो जैसे यहां पे सब लोग बड़ा मजा आता है ना भजिया फ्राई ये फ्राई वो फ्राई यू नो और सा चिकन फ्राई ये फ्राई वो फ्राई तो उधर भी अच्छे से तला जाता है सब कि भाई ये जो तुमने इन्फ्लिक्ट किया है दूसरों पे खुद भी इन्फ्लिक्ट करके देखो अपने आप पे पता चलेगा कितना दर्द होता है ठीक है तो डू नॉट डू दिस तो ये चीज है तो इस तरह से हेलिश प्लांट्स में आपको सफर करना पड़ता है फॉर सम टाइम नॉट फॉर इटर्निटी ये इटर्निटी का कांसेप्ट ही बेकार है इटर्निटी पे कुछ भी नहीं होता है it takes a long, long time to suffer there. इसे eternity बोल दो आप, ठीक है? लेकिन वो eternity होता नहीं है, कुछ time के लिए होता है, then you come back on earth again, do karma or according to your karma you be judged again. So like this, ठीक है? So at the time of death you are judged. According to your karma you will get new body. So karma is more or less okay, okay. This is earth पे आपको मिल जाता है. If you not done any kind of grave sins, but कोई grave sins आपने किए हैं, तो उसके लिए आपको hell के दर्शन करने पड़ते हैं, वो भी कर्म है. ठीक है जितने भी इस तरह के कर्म है जिसमें आपको नरक के दर्शन करने पड़े सब विकर्म में आ जाता है सो कर्म मींस प्रोटेक्टिव एक्टिविटी जिससे कर्म लगता है अच्छा या बुरा अच्छा सफरिंग सॉरी अच्छा हुआ तो एंजॉयमेंट बुरा हुआ तो सफरिंग इन दिस मटेरियल वर्ल्ड बट विकर्म मतलब गए नरक में गए नरक के दर्शन मिलेंगे 
और अगर आपने अकर्मा किया तो क्या होगा नो लॉ ऑफ कर्मा एंड देन इफ यू आर इफ यू आर यू नो इफ यू डन यूर यू नो इफ यू डेवलप दैट लव फॉर कृष्णा देन यू विल गो टू कृष्ण लोक अदरवाइज लिब्रेशन भी दो तरह की होते हैं सायुज्य मुक्ति भी एक होती है इसमें आप यू नो भगवान की ज्योति में मर्ज हो जाते हो कुछ समय के लिए रहने वाला अगेन फॉल डाउन होगा उसमें भी फॉल डाउन होता है और समटाइम्स अपलिफ्टमेंट भी हो जाता है ठीक है सो सायुज्य मुक्ति होती है फंड in india they are exempted from tax to whatever degree they you know to whatever degree they do donation to that prime minister fund correct to that degree they are exempted from 100% exemption from tax correct in the same way to the degree you will be surrendered to krishna the karma of yours will be surrendered to krishna to that degree you will be exempted from law karma to whatever degree you did activity for your own enjoyment then it will again catch you तो उतना टैक्स कट जाएगा फिर आपका ठीक है तो इसलिए टैक्स फ्री कर्मा करना है नो टैक्स नो लॉफ कर्मा ठीक है तो कंप्लीटली सरेंडर योर ऑल मनी इनटू प्राइम मिनिस्टर फंड जीरो टैक्स इन द सेम वे कंप्लीटली सरेंडर योर एक्टिविटी योर यू नो माइंड फिक्स इनटू कृष्णा कॉन्शियसनेस व्हाटएवर यू अर्न ऑब्वियसली यू नो यू हैव टू मेंटेन योर लाइफ सो ऑब्वियसली व्हाटएवर तेन तक तेन गुंजिता मां गृद सत तस स्विधनम वो जो भी बाकी है वो आप डोनेशन में दो कृष्णा को donate any krishna conscious activity so that we can spread this message all over the world okay yeah. so for the mission of your guru maharaj you should spend some money into it spend some energy into it not just money energy also sometimes come here you know take some books donate uh, give it to your friends you know donate yoga like there's a gift karna gift gift it to your friends so all these activities you can do and you can uplift yourself and them also so with this this small note i will leave you okay so thank you very much hari krishna thank you for coming hari krishna